నమస్తే అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు మైండ్ ఓవర్ మ్యాట్ ఐఎమ్ ఇందిరా చవ Through out these sessions, whatever we have done so far, I have been sharing about the different yamas that are foundation of yoga. What is Brahmacharya? You must have heard it before. It is about celibacy. The one who is knowing Brahman, the true reality of the self. Now, why do somebody follow Brahmacharya? Nothing but to save energy so that that energy is being used for spiritual practices. Now, can everybody follow Brahmacharya like us, you and me, householders? No, right? So, we have to follow something called energy saving. So, we need to save our, conserve our energy. Now, how are we going to follow Brahmacharya on the mat? By saving our energy. So, make sure you follow this on the mat today and then I'll keep sharing the asanas how certain asanas going to save your energy and make you feel more energetic at the end of the practice now let's begin start with the centering sit down any comfortable posture hands in mudra chin mudra Shoulders rolled back and down, eyes gently closed. Remember to sit straight. And we take some time to observe the body, breath, mind before the practice. And how do we assess all these things? In terms of three gunas, the three gunas, sattva, rajas and tamas. How is the body now? Is it tired, lethargic, means tamas? Is it agitated, wants to move badly, rajas? Or are you feeling calm, body is very relaxed, focused mind, calm breathing? All this is sattva. Let's see how is it going to be post-practice as well. Now let's set an intention. about today's practice brahmacharya that you repeat after me that i am going to save my energy in the class not exhausting myself completely so by saving the energy i get strength and i can use that strength physical and mental throughout the day with this intention we'll begin with three omkara namaskar mudra Inhale deep breath. gently open palms look into palms open eyes namaste let's start with the warm up marjari asana we are going to look at asanas very balanced hatha practice today so that you feel more energetic end of the practice palms separated shoulder width knees apart inhale arch your back chin up look up exhale curl your spine do not lock your knees elbows like this keep them bent slightly inhale arch your back exhale curl why we are bending elbows because all of us have hyper extension very few have hyper flexion inhale arch your back with the elbows slightly bend look up exhale curl your spine inhale arch look up exhale curl once more inhale exhale now come back to center sit back vajrasana watch the next practice it's a bit of a movement to open up your shoulders and the hips okay anjaneyasana 
to Parshukonasana. So you're going to step right leg forward, back knee down. So first you're going to inhale, extend the hand back, exhale, hold it. Okay, Anjaneyasana, Parivrutta. Then after that, open, see the arm movement. Exhale, come down. Now here, inhale, open, exhale. Now same way, come back. Remember to move the shoulder and inhale, exhale. Again, remember my hand is constantly moved. Inhale, exhale. Again, exhale, inhale. Right? Let's do. Get ready. Come on to all fours. Step your right foot forward. Sink your hip down. Left palm down. First, take your right arm to the front. Inhale, up. Exhale. Fold the back leg. Hold the foot. Sink your hip. Pull the heel towards you and release the hand. Exhale, palm outside or inside. Left hand to the front. Open up the chest. Exhale, Parshukonasana. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. Inhale, arm to the front. Open up the chest. Exhale, pull the heel closer to you. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hand down. Arm to the front. Inhale, exhale. Come down, rotate your arm, back knee down, inhale, fold the back leg, exhale towards you, inhale, exhale, inhale, arm to the front, exhale, inhale, last one, exhale, inhale, right arm to the front, exhale, hold the foot, pull the heel towards you, inhale and exhale. Okay, step back to the other side now. Left leg forward, sink your hip down, right palm on the mat. Remember the shoulder rotation. Inhale to the front and open up the chest to the left side, fold the back leg, exhale, pull it towards you. Release the foot, inhale, come down, exhale. Again, drop the back foot, arm to the front, inhale, exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale, hand down, back knee down, inhale, arm to the front, exhale. Inhale, constantly keep moving if you're confused with the breath. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, come down. Inhale, arm to the front. Open up the chest. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, arm up. Exhale, down. One more to go. Inhale, exhale, heel towards you. Inhale, arm to the front and down. Exhale, arm to the front and up. Take it back. Last one. Inhale, exhale. Inhale to the front and back. Exhale. Release the hand down. Come back to Adho Mukha. Now, step to the front between your palms. Bend knees, hands on the hip. Come up, arch back. Come back to center. Okay. So, let's start with Surya Namaskara. So, as I mentioned about the energy, Ashtanga style of Surya Namaskara consumes a lot of energy. So today we will be doing Shivananda style Surya Namaskara. Yet, give your 100% in all the back bends, forward bends. It will open up the body. It is an excellent practice. Get to the front of the mat, leaving one foot space. Feet apart slightly. Inhale, roll shoulders back. Exhale. Samasiddhi. Palms to the chest. Namaskara Mudra. Arms up and arch back. Inhale. Hasta Uttanasana. Exhale, bend forward. Pada Hasta. Inhale, right leg back. Back leg straight and active. Ashwasanchalana. Hold the breath. Other leg back. Dandasana. Exhale, if you're comfortable. All three together. Knees, chest, chin down. At the same time. Inhale, Bhujanga. Scoop forward, chest up. Point toes. Exhale, Parvatasana. Right leg forward, back leg straight and active. Inhale, Ashwa. Exhale, other leg forward, bend forward. Uttana or Padhasta. Bend knees, inhale, up and arch back. 
we'll continue for the left side first exhale forward bend inhale left leg back ashwa hold the breath other leg back danda all three together exhale inhale scoop up exhale hip up left leg forward inhale ashwa exhale other leg forward pada hasta up and arch back take a good back bend inhale and palms to the chest exhale this was one round we would do five more rounds in the same flow we'll pause after every round inhale arms up and arch exhale forward bend inhale right leg back hold the breath other leg back danda exhale all three together inhale bhujanga exhale parvata inhale right ashwa exhale left pada hasta inhale come up and arch hasta uttana bend forward exhale left side inhale left leg back ashwa hold the breath other leg back dandasana exhale knees chest chin all three together inhale roll shoulders back bhujanga chest up exhale hip up left leg forward ashwa inhale exhale other leg bend forward pada hasta inhale up and arch back exhale palms to the chest second round done inhale third round arch back exhale bend forward inhale right leg back active body okay remember the satya hold the breath at the leg back engage your body do an active movement exhale inhale roll shoulders back a good bhujanga length of the spine exhale parvata right forward inhale back leg straight active body exhale bend forward inhale arms up in arch continue left side exhale forward bend inhale left leg back hold the breath other leg back exhale down inhale scoop up exhale hip up left leg forward inhale ashwa exhale other leg bend forward inhale up and arch back exhale palms to the chest right three rounds done fourth round inhale arch back give a good length exhale again length while forward bend inhale right leg back active thigh hold the breath other leg active arms exhale knees chest chin inhale roll shoulders chest up bhujanga exhale hip up length in the spine parvata right leg forward inhale ashwa other leg bend forward inhale up and arch continue with the forward bend exhale inhale left leg back ashwa active arms hold the breath other leg no locking elbows bend elbows exhale inhale bhujanga exhale parvata left leg forward inhale ashwa other leg bend forward pada hasta up and arch inhale exhale palms to the chest fifth round do not just move your body casually active body inhale arch give a good length tighten buttocks exhale forward bend inhale right leg back hold the breath other leg back exhale down 
इनहेल भुजंगा एक्सहेल पर्वत इनहेल राइट फॉरवर्ड आधे लेग एक्सहेल फॉरवर्ड बैन इनहेल अप एंड आर्च गिव ए गुड बैक बैन एक्सहेल बैन फॉरवर्ड इनहेल लेफ्ट लेग बैक होल्ड ब्रेथ आधे लेग बैक एक्सहेल डाउन इनहेल भुजंगा एक्सहेल हिप अप पर्वत लेंथ ऑफ द स्पाइन लेफ्ट लेग फॉरवर्ड इनहेल अश्वा एक्सहेल आधे लेग बैन फॉरवर्ड इनहेल अप एंड आर्च एक्सहेल palms to the chest the last round of shivananda inhale arch back exhale forward bend inhale right leg back hold the breath other leg back exhale down all three together inhale bhujanga exhale parvata right leg forward inhale ashwa other leg bend forward exhale inhale up and arch bend forward exhale inhale left leg back ashwa hold the breath other leg back exhale all three down inhale bhujanga exhale hip up left leg forward inhale ashwa exhale other leg bend forward inhale up and arch and palms to the chest release your hands take a short break feet apart hands by the side keep breathing observe the breath breath tells about our energy all the time if you have a short breath that means you're going to feel more panting the breath means more depletion of energy gently open eyes right we will be starting with the asana going forward the word brahmacharya actually translates to the behavior which leads to brahman okay so here we will be using uh, the that term in terms of energy so i have designed the class such a way that you know it's going to save your energy this is the best class plan anybody can do for a regular daily practice to save energy and be healthy okay and in order to be the best version of ourselves and to use our energy the right way we need first all to listen to what our bodies say what our bodies need isn't it so let's get started starting with the vrikshasana tree pose here in tree pose what you're going to focus first is the length of the body okay so a lot of us do if i can show you the wrong posture maybe you would get it so see vrikshasana it it is done this way also like you know a lot of us we we do it I've seen some doing it. So you are going to do when you do a vrikshasana tree pose. First, remember not pushing the hip in the center. See, the moment you are in the center, you are engaging the thigh. Very disciplined and length of the spine. A very good tree posture. Remember, just recall yourself as a tree. Firm root of the foot and the length of the spine. Okay. If that is challenging, keep your hands on the hip. or palms at the heart center but never on the knee joint okay you can keep it on the shin or above the knee it's not good for the knee when you keep it at the knee joint let's get started i want you to focus on length of the spine today in rikshasana get ready do not look at me look down on the floor when you perform the asana feet closer lift your right foot grip the ankle heel all the way up Now once you're ready inhale extend arms remember the strong foot length of the spine shoulders relaxed 
and breathe knee open inhale exhale one two three four five like how you went carefully come down the same way do not just drop with controlled movement release the foot and down hope you noticed the difference when you did it all these days and now with that good length of the spine do it on the other side as well feet down lifting the left foot the moment you put the foot hip tends to tilt do not let it tilt keep it in the center so that your weight is centered on the foot in the same line of the hip shoulders head inhale arms up open your knee foot form look down at one point active leg tighten your right buttock inhale exhale your entire body is in one straight line from the heel to the fingertips 2 keep growing tall as if you want to reach the sky 3 Exhale. 4 5 exhale release hands down hold the ankle carefully release the foot down Yes, feet apart, hands by the side, eyes closed. Take a short break. Reflect on the balancing asana. Were you able to balance well or struggling? And what was the mind thinking when you were balancing? Balancing asanas are the ones which actually lets you distract very less that engages your mind because we are not used to stand on one leg. That challenges the mind. open eyes release moving on to prasarita padottanasana as i said today it's all about the energy conservation so asanas are also are such a way which will open up your hips shoulders neck back all these which are going to open up all the the blocks of the body open your legs medium width apart prasarita toes pointing to the front hands on the hip inhale you're going to arch back after that you bend exhale okay those who are comfortable you can grip your big toes otherwise palms on the floor if you're not able to bring the palms forehead uh, fingertips down go down with the chest going okay no rounding here remember following the ahimsa not harming yourself and being truthful to the practice not hunching the back priority to the spine over limbs inhale after you get a good grip lengthen head up chest up as you exhale bend forward crown of the head down open your arms shoulders away from ears do not shrug your shoulders look at one point at the back active legs okay tighten your thighs knees and keep tilting your hip downward lifting your buttocks high and crown of the head going down to the floor active arms press your big toe down so that your arms can be lifted high to go down that's the grip one two not a casual practice activate your entire body three accept your face relaxed all of the body parts engaged tightly to observe the breathing three focus at one point so that you are not distracted with different thoughts four go deeper exhale crown of the head down five inhale head up chest up 
exhale release hands point your toes out slightly then you come up hands on the hip come up halfway then point your toes forward get closer feet apart hip width inhale arch back counter for your hips come back to center yes right so you see the difference when you engage your body mind even simplest asanas are very effective on your body and the mind moving on to anjani asana a bit variation here so we will all do together get to the front of the mat feet apart hands on the hip inhale arch back exhale bend forward now step your right leg back knee on the mat check the front heel and the knee in one line back foot flat lift the knee for a moment place it down for the better placement of the knee now those who struggle to be here with the hip down stay here if you're comfortable palms on the front knee without lifting the hip see this is going down and my chest going up saying here now those who are comfortable take your hands behind interlock fingers inhale arch back hips forward chest up look forward do not lift your hip high like this see you can either lose balance or you're not stable and also pressurize the knee sink your hip down pointing toes open up the arms chest regular practitioners index fingers pointing down to reach the floor open up look up one squeeze your shoulder blades palms together two three four five exhale release your hands down slowly tuck your back foot move your hips back to stretch the front leg toes towards the ceiling bend forward on to the front leg hanuman asana ardha let's do on the other side step your left leg back then right foot forward back knee on the mat foot flat as soon as you flatten the foot lift the knee place it down and slowly take your hands back interlock fingers inhale squeeze your shoulder blades palms together those who are comfortable fingertips pointing down to the floor index inhale chest up look up one two remember to engage the body three front thigh engaged back ankle engaged four squeeze shoulder blades chest up five exhale release your hands down tuck your back foot move your hips back pushing the hands push your hip back exhale front leg straighten toes towards the ceiling bend forward exhale right step back to vajrasana now see as i said in the class where we discussed satya part of it as it mentioned spine priority over anything else so today also we're going to focus on the spine but not exhausting ourselves yet give enough practice for the spine and the limbs keep checking that you know we worked on the hip opening now we will be doing on the length of the spine and the shoulder mobility first separate your feet stay at the back end of the mat uttana shishosana feet apart hip width knees apart now first keep moving hip back in fact you can sit back a little on your calves walk your hands forward 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 and then slowly get your chest and chin down okay do not go forward too much and see the pressure on the shoulders no not good no pressure on the shoulders move your hips back hands are very comfortable to press the chest and chin If this is challenging put your forehead down okay get ready arms to the front inhale lengthen exhale bend forward and stay there 
one. Two. Three. What's going on in the mind? Focus on breathing at the abdomen. Four. Spine lengthened, but arms and legs are relaxed. Five. Exhale. From there, take the weight on the forearms. Slowly come forward and lie down on your stomach. So that it's easy for the transition. Okay. Slowly get your feet closer. Hands by the side. We will add Dhanurasana now. So take your hands back, forehead down. Bend your knees. Grip onto the ankles. If you can't grip both ankles, one hand is fine. Advanced practitioners can go for Purna Dhanura. If you have practiced before, roll shoulders back. Inhale, come up. Lift up. Open up the chest. Look forward. Be on your stomach, okay? Not on your hips. One. Two. Three, four, lift up high, five, active legs, exhale, come down, release your legs, palms next to the chest, first rise up to Urdhva, legs straighten your elbows, chest up, Shashanka, exhale, move your Hips back, sit back, arms to the front. This is challenging, knees together. Separate your knees slightly. Bend forward. Why do we separate knees? For two reasons. Not able to go down and mainly to breathe. Creating that space for your lungs to breathe. Relax your breathing and slowly walk hands back. Sit upright. So we have done Dhanurasana, right? Dhanurasana is mentioned as the one of the best postures as per Hatha Yoga. Preferably you should look at having that asana in your practice every day. Okay? Get ready for the next asana, Baddha Konasana, Butterfly which is an excellent posture for your hips and the spine for the forward bend. Separate your, open your knees, feet closer. If your knees are too high, you need to walk your feet forward, otherwise closer. And then hold on to the feet. Open your feet like a book. See, feet is not important. For us, hip opening is important. If you need to open them to get your knees down, absolutely fine. Now, once you hold, here, Remember, spine over the limbs priority, not hunching the back and then trying to push yourself down this way. No. Bend your elbows. Inhale, length of the spine. Exhale, bend forward. Okay? All the way. Those who are comfortable can extend arms and bend forward. Stay there with the chest and chin down. Go down. And stay. Let your knees go down. Open up the hip first, more than the you pushing the knees down, hip open. One. Two. Keep lengthening the spine, look forward. Three. Four. Five. Go down. Walk your hands back with control. Inhale. See, if you have done a very good hip opening Baddha Konasana, when you come up and sit straight, you are still able to sit straight without hunching. Otherwise, Baddha Kona is a bit challenging to sit straight here. Now, join your knees. 
feet together for Ardha Matsendra Asana. Ardha Matsendra Asana is also one of the best asanas you should have in your daily practice, good for your digestion and any uh, constipation related problems. So now get the left leg down, heel closer to you and right foot outside. Anybody with the knee condition, not comfortable moving the knee here and there, you keep it inside, others outside. You're not sitting on the heel like this. Sit down, right hand behind, inhale, left arm up, exhale. Get the elbow, upper arm completely. See, sit down. If you're comfortable, extend the arm out, holding the foot. Otherwise, stay with the elbow bend, grip onto the thigh, exhale. Stay there. One. Here, remember, if I'm hunching, I would not attempt this. Rather, I would come, inhale, chest up. I prefer this over the grip because that's helping me to lengthen the spine, twist, look back. One. Two. Three. Four, five, exhale, look forward, lift the arm up, exhale, release. Now on the other side, so lower the right leg down and the left leg outside, left hand behind, inhale, right arm up, exhale, get the elbow, as I mentioned, I choose this over the grip because I personally feel me holding the foot, it's helping me to satisfy my ego of I can touch my foot, but it's not doing any good to my spine. Rather, I lengthen the spine and prioritize the health over the flexibility. Look back. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Exhale. Look forward. Inhale, arm up. Exhale. Right? Okay. Now, so moving on to the uh, lateral bend. Okay. As I said, we're going to look at all the spinal related practices. We will have the Parivrutta Janashirasasana. So fold the right leg, let go of the left leg to the side. Keep your heel closer. Those who can't reach the foot, see the grip should be open the palm, twist your arm, hold the inner foot, get the elbow inside. If you can't, insert your palm under the calf, right arm up. Others, inhale, right arm up, exhale, open. Lateral bend. One. See, again here, I will not try to reach the foot. Rather, I try to open the chest and give a good lateral stretch for my right side of the spine. Right side of the body. One. Two. Me reaching the foot is not the priority. Am I giving a good right side of the body stretch to myself? Four. and five inhale center exhale to the other side open the right leg heel closer to you bend open your arm inhale okay make sure that you are having the good grip of the foot otherwise what happens you tend to lose lose in the length of the spine grip provides you that length scope for the good length inhale left arm up exhale I would not push myself to reach the floor, reach the foot. Rather, open the chest, give a good stretch on the left side of the body. One. Two. Three. Four. Keep opening the chest to the sky. Look up. 
फाइव इनहेल सेंटर एक्सहेल रिलीज मूविंग ऑन टू सर्वांगासना आफ्टर दैट वी विल डू चक्रासना अवॉइड इफ यू आर डूइंग मैंस्ट्रेशन यू कैन सिंपली लाई डाउन इफ यू आर डूइंग इफ यू आर मैंस्ट्रेटिंग और एनी नेक इशूज शोल्डर माइग्रेन हेड एक हार्ट प्रॉब्लम्स ब्लड प्रेजर इशूज यू स्टे हियर विद द लेग्स टू द सीलिंग अदर्स लाई डाउन पुट योर लेग्स अप प्रेस योर पाम्स एंड देन यू गोइंग टू लिफ्ट योर हिप इनहेल सपोर्ट योर हिप विद योर हैंड्स सर्वांग कीप मूविंग योर हैंड्स टूवर्ड्स योर शोल्डर ब्लेड्स टाइट इन योर बटॉक्स हिप्स फॉरवर्ड legs back stay here one two three four are you activating your legs tighten your buttocks or is it a loose posture five those who are comfortable directly transiting from here to chakrasana means bridge pose first you can do it like first turn your fingers other way thumbs close to each other get your left leg towards your face and bend the right knee go down slowly towards the floor one leg at a time otherwise simply come down with the hip now get ready palms next to the face chakrasana Inhale, go down. Come up. Wheel pose. One. Stretch your neck especially. Counter after Sarvanga. Two. Three. Four. Five. Exhale, come down. Back of the head down, shoulders down. Now stay there for a couple of breaths here. Then immediately hug your knees to the chest, Pavana Muktasana. Lift your head, forehead to the knees. and release exhale then lie down for shavasana lie down on your back legs apart hands away palms facing up fingers naturally curled eyes closed inhale exhale observe the body relax the breathing observe the breathing throughout shavasana relaxing your eyebrows eyes forehead now take a moment to observe the abdomen and consciously let it rise when you inhale abdomen expands and contract when you exhale do that of 10 times expand the abdomen when you inhale contract when you exhale continue doing that for 7 more times
slowly move fingers and toes head to the right and left move feet in and out join them extend arms overhead inhale point toes give a good stretch to the entire body exhale release hands bend knees turn to the right side and slowly sit up right sit down for any comfortable posture hands in mudra chin mudra rolling shoulders back and down now observe the body we have done enough spinal movements which are required for the spine to be healthy for the muscles to stretch for the hip to open for the shoulders to be mobile we have addressed all parts of the body how do you find this sitting posture after that and how do you find the energy levels in the body are you too tired or too too restless it has your body calm down is your breath calm down to calm the mind further if you're still feeling restless agitated nadi shodhana practice this is also cleansing the nadis of the body clearing all the blockages of your nadis which is going to make you feel more energetic so closing your index finger and middle finger closing the right nostril with the right thumb inhale from left nostril close the left nostril with the ring finger exhale through right inhale from right exhale through left inhale left exhale right inhale right exhale left one last round inhale from left exhale through right inhale from right exhale through left release the hand down observe the breathing now a well balanced practice is supposed to open up your both nostrils that means your body is balanced with the hatha practice a well balanced practice should make your mind feel more sattva satvik observe the mind now is it too many thoughts or less thoughts is it calm focused or dull if you're feeling any of this calm focused relaxed composed alert all this sattva guna of your mind any practice of yoga should elevate the sattva of your mind with that observation let us end it here one omkara tri shanti namaskar mudra inhale shanti 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 he gently bow the down bow the head down 
to express gratitude for a beautiful practice. Open your palms, look into palms, open eyes. If you need to rub your palms, transfer the warmth, do that. And gently open eyes, looking into palms. This is the end of today's session. I hope you found this session enriching and hopefully you understood how we can conserve the energy and direct it in a right way. So today you will observe what kind of activities exhaust your energy. Too much exercise, too much talking, too much walking, Thinking too much takes more energy, isn't it? And overeating, all these activities exhaust your energy. So here is what you can do. Speak when it is needed, only when it is needed. Unnecessary talking is going to deplete your energy. Speak the truth without hurting others, of course, ahimsa, save energy. Because we all have energy same way how a phone has battery. Like it is going to get depleted as you use it more. The same way. You're going to use your energy like money you have in your account and the battery of your phone because morning energy is different by the time you reach evening it is all depleted right but if you take care of all these what i told you will conserve your energy very well but a yogi maintains the same energy by watching all these actions carefully throughout the day so you take care of your energy today by now, you can see the connection of all Yama Niyamas together and following in our day-to-day -day life. Ahimsa, Satya, Asteya, Brahmacharya. Today about conserving energy. And as I always say, share your feedback, thoughts on our Facebook community group, Stronger Together with Cult Fit Home. This is Mind Over Mat and I'm Indira Chava saying bye for now. Thank you. Take care. For such workout videos, download the Culprit app now. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are Cult.